You may have already known about Elon Musk's electric vehicle company, Tesla. You might already have seen some of the luxurious automobile models that they have churned out in the past years. Still, one feature that you probably didn't know about some of their cars is that apart from the aesthetics that they offer with their designs and their build, they also have the self-driving feature that allows the car to convey its owner to whatever destination they might be headed for. You didn't know about Tesla's autopilot feature, did you? Well, don't beat yourself up, because in today's video, we'll see how Tesla's autopilot feature works. Welcome to Elon Musk Zone. Just in case you didn't know, the autopilot feature that comes with most Tesla automobiles has to be purchased separately. And so if you bought a Tesla in the past, and you're wondering why your car doesn't have the autopilot feature, it's because you didn't purchase it at the time of buying your car. The autopilot is an optional driving assistance system with a safe and comfortable system meant for those who would rather lay back and relax while they arrive at their destination. There are two packages available for those who want to purchase the autopilot feature for Tesla rides. Either you purchase the autopilot or you purchase the self-driving feature with the use of your Tesla account. Some of the features of Tesla's autopilot are the car's ability to automatically change gears, brake, and accelerate while in a single lane. What more does a car need to do? With Tesla-made vehicles, the autopilot still has to be supervised by the driver, and so it doesn't have the full autonomous feature that allows it to function on its own. The good news for people who own a Tesla ride is that, with the autopilot feature, which could be installed into their rides, you can also update to a newer version through the software installed in the car. This means that with the autopilot system becomes fully autonomous in the near future, you would still enjoy the benefit once you upgraded it to the latest version. However, the bubble burst is that not all Tesla-made vehicles can use their autopilot system. In 2016, Tesla announced that vehicles invented from that year already have an installed hardware system that can easily upload an autopilot into the cars. The impressive features of the Tesla ride invented in 2016 include ultrasonic sensors, 360-degree cameras, the onboard computer, and forward-facing radars. All the features of the recently invented Tesla models are modeled in such a way that ensures that owners have an all-around view of their cars. Assume you're one of the lucky individuals that has the most recent Tesla model. In that case, you can check your autopilot feature by surfing through the other vehicle information system under your vehicle's touchscreen. It should be noted that whichever package you might select for your Tesla autopilot, you can either choose to buy your autopilot before or after you have purchased your Tesla. In the United States, the Tesla autopilot feature is pegged at $2,000, while the self-driving feature is estimated to be around $10,000. Tesla owners should know that the autopilot features like auto steer and autopilot navigation, amongst many others, are disabled when they are purchased from the company. It's when one purchases the autopilot feature that you can either choose to enable them or not. Before enabling the autopilot feature, you are always advised to keep your hands on the steering wheel. There's an aspect of the autopilot system in Tesla cars that is called the Traffic Aware Cruise Control. It's common in Model 3, S, and X of Tesla cars. To activate the cruise control, you would need to pull down the cruise control switch on the left-hand side of your steering in the Model S and Model X, while in the Model 3, you would need to activate it on the right-hand side of your gear stock. Another autopilot feature in Tesla rides is the auto steer. In the Model S and X, you pull down two times on the cruise control beside the steering to activate it, while in Model 3, you would need to push the gear selector twice to activate it. When it comes to the navigation on autopilot, to activate it, you would need to activate the auto steer first. Under the auto steer, you would find the navigate and autopilot feature. Another amazing perk that comes with this feature in most Tesla rides is that you have to activate the navigation on autopilot before using your face camera. Afterward, you would need to download the latest version of the navigation map using your Wi-Fi connection. While driving your Tesla car in an environment where there is navigation on autopilot, you have to click on the navigation on autopilot feature to enable it. In Tesla's Model 3 and Y, navigating on autopilot can be used on highways, which is activated by pushing the gear down two times. You can activate it in the Model S and X by pulling the cruise control toward your direction twice. There is also the Auto Lane feature that is inscribed in the autopilot system of Tesla cars. This feature allows vehicles to automatically switch lanes. You can enable the Auto Lane change through the Autopilot Control menu under the Settings segment. The little difference here is that where the car is in auto steer, the Tesla automobile driver would have to switch on the turn signal. The Tesla autopilot system also has the auto park setting, which shows a gray colored P icon whenever it sights a parking lot. To activate the auto park setting, you would have to press over the brake of your car and shift the gear stock to reverse while your leg is still holding down the brake. On your touchscreen, the auto park feature will appear, and you will have to press it over to activate this feature while you remove your leg from the brake. 
When the auto park is complete, your car would inform you. You should note that you can easily switch from the auto park feature by taking control of your steering. Another one of the Tesla Autopilot features is the Summon button. It is used to summon your car either to the front or to the back. The difference with the Summon the feature is that you would need to summon your car from your Tesla application. And within a few seconds, the car's hazard lights would come on while you use the Frunk or Trunk button to summon your car to the back or to the front. The Autopilot feature in Tesla also has the Traffic Light Sign control whereby it either stops or moves in sequence to the traffic light changes. To activate this feature in your Tesla, you would need to move your car into park and click on the Traffic Light at the Stop Control option under your Park and Tap controls. While all these options make it seem like owning a Tesla is the only way you can make use of the Autopilot option, there's also an option for car testing where you can see how the Autopilot option works. What do you think about the Autopilot feature in Tesla automobiles? Do you think it's a great feature for a luxurious brand like Tesla? Let's have your thoughts in the comments section below. For more exciting videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to be the first to be notified when we have new Elon Musk-related videos for you.